It's likely that they'll try and consolidate their strength with the new money from the Mosul Central Bank, which allegedly is upwards up to $425 million, which is far exceeding any money that Osama bin Laden had. There are already rumors that they've been buying off people inside of Mosul. Um, this will also be used to reinforce the front in Syria. As many people know, earlier this year, a bunch of Syrian rebel groups started an uprising against ISIS and pushed them out of Idlib and Aleppo governorate. It's likely that they use this to further reinforce Iraqa governorate, uh, help out on the Deir Azor front, as well as try and push back into Aleppo and Idlib. Are they stretched thin? They have seven to 10,000 people, but they span all the way from the countryside in Aleppo all the way up through Mosul now. Um, can they actually hold this territory? There are many people that obviously do not like their ideology and do not want to live through this. And obviously, uh, n you know, the type of penalties that they pursue is created a backlash in the first place last decade in Iraq. We've already seen statements put out by some tribal members in uh, uh, Ramadi and Mosul about how they're going to stand up not only just to the Maliki government, but also to ISIS themselves. The Islamic State is a reality. ISIS's ability to crisscross provinces within its state could prove difficult for completely dislodging it from either territory and could provide more ability to consolidate its proto-state. For jihadists worldwide, the continued battlefield victories registered by ISIS and the perception that the so-called will of God is on its side against numerically superior enemies will only enhance the prestige of joining the group and furthering its goals.